We've got Elliot Whitehead in the studio and he's going to give us his five toughest men. The toughest guys that he's ever played rugby league against. And I imagine all the journeys you've had in the NRL, there must be a few pretty tough guys as well as playing, obviously, in Super League. So, Elliot, who'd be your fifth toughest player? Um, Boyd Cordner, uh, the captain of the Sydney Roosters, Australia and New South Wales. Yeah. What is it about him that makes him tough? He just he just carries them teams when he plays them, especially in Origin. You know, for the last two years for New South Wales, he's really been one of their key players, and um, that's why they got a result. You know, he, he always he's always leading from the front, and you know, always getting them strong carries when they need to be taken. I remember Brad Fittler when he was at the Roosters, and Adrian Morley as well. They seem to always have those key players that can come up with the big performances in the big games as well. Yeah, definitely. You know. And he's, he's, I think that's why he's their captain. You know, I think a lot of their players look up to him to take that um, big carry to get them going forward. And who's your number four? Um, number four would be Louis Anderson. Oh, mate, I, I remember what, I can't remember if it was at Catalan or Warrington, but he flew that line, nearly knocked my beard off, mate. A proper umdinger, he's a tough guy. But what was it that you think made him tough? Oh, it was more just um, being around him every day at training and stuff. <laughs> Not more than played. I obviously I played against him when he was at Warrington, but obviously I played at Catalan with him as well. And just his everyday aura, just you know, he was just scary. He didn't really want to go up and talk to him. So, <laughs> um, but on the field, you know, he brought that as well. Like, like he'd be like Boyd Corden, he'd be the one to take that tough carry. And you know, if it ever kicked off, he'd be the first one in. And he's retired in 2018. Congratulations on a fantastic career. Uh, sad to see him go, but it comes to an end for all of us eventually, doesn't it? Yeah, it does eventually. I'm well, not far behind him, and <laughs> either of you. So. Mate, you've got six <laughs> or seven years left in you, no, I'm telling you, it's tries you score. Who's, uh, who's number three? Um, Adrian Morley, we've already spoke about him. You know, yeah. when he was at Warrington, um, even when he was at Salford as well, you know. Um, he was one of them guys you didn't really want to go up against because he'd run off of that back fence off a kickoff and <laughs> he wasn't he won't stopping, so yeah. Do you have uh, any in particular memories or experiences against Moles where he's maybe caught you or uh, oh, got, he, got off the top of you? He used to come in all the time with Farham and I think he's had me a few times with that, so I <laughs> can't, can't remember one, but uh, I, I imagine he will have got me a few times, especially, I, especially I, when I was younger and could just come in through, he probably thought, oh, get that young kid. <laughs> <laughs> test him out, test his steel. Yeah. I think Adrian Morley is uh, quite often in our top three. But who's your number two? Um, Sam Burgess. Um, you know, I've mentioned a few guys that play in my similar positions to me, and he's one of them guys that stands out. And you know, to play a grand final with a broken cheekbone shows you've got to be a tough guy. So um, he's pretty similar to the other boys I've mentioned. Um, he, li he likes to run that ball in hard and, you know, he's, he's got a good shoulder tackle on him as well, like when he got through, through him, oh, you know, yeah. yeah, I remember that. that, I remember that, I was uh, there, mate. And look, his shoulder charge has gone now, so no one can get me, you know, over there, so. It is a shame, yeah. and that might change people's perceptions going forward of uh, how tough some of these guys are, but aside from the shoulder charges and the big hits, when you say a measure of a tough player, is that ability to play with a, a broken bone, such as a cheap bone in a grand final? Yeah, definitely, because that's going to be getting knocked every tackle or every carry you take, so you're going to be feeling it. And I think he did it in the first set as well. So to play 78 minutes with that, um, you've got to be a tough player to do that. Yeah. And he was uh, he inflicted. He was inflicted by James Graham as well. Yeah, one of his mates got him. So they always have a little little go at each other every time they play now. So it's good to watch that. <laughs> and who's your number one, Elliot? Um, Jamie Peacock, you know, he was one of the guys that I never used to like to play against. Uh, he'd always run it in hard and try rough you up and do his little niggly things and just try to wind you up. But yeah, he's probably my number one. Um, I think a lot of people would probably say him as well. So yeah, Jamie Peacock. You've heard it from the guy who smashed it up in the NRL for England internationally and in Super League as well. That's Elliot Whitehead's five toughest players.